What's up, everybody? Today is a big day. I'm going to go see Calpurnia at 7 p.m. at Irving Plaza. And I apologize if uh, I'm a little bit uh, not prepared yet because I just got out of the shower. So I have to do my makeup. I have to put on my outfit. And uh, I have other things that I got to do before I hit the door, you know. So uh, I'm still at home right now preparing. It's a couple of hours left before they open the doors. I think they open the doors at 7. So there's still time. It's almost 2.30. So I'm preparing and oh my god, my heart is beating because I'm so excited to see this band. And I definitely want to see Finn and the rest of the gang. And this is an opportunity and a night that I will never forget. So, uh, I'm gonna get dressed now. And uh, I also wanted to talk about, just quickly, um, I think they were gonna have a show on Sunday. It was supposed to be scheduled for tomorrow at 2. But uh, they announced on their Instagram that they canceled it for some reason. So I feel very sorry for all you people out there who ordered tickets at on Sunday because you're not going to be able to see them and that really sucks. But uh, it was great that they were understanding and they refunded uh, the money back to the people for Sunday and uh, that really sucks. But maybe next time, you know, so maybe next time they'll come back to New York City. So uh, that really stinks because they're going to be in other uh, cities this summer, I think in Boston and in Seattle. So they're not going to come back to New York City until until further notice. So I feel really sorry for you Sunday people out there. But let's just say I'm the lucky one because uh, I get to go tonight. And uh, it's definitely going to be an experience I will never forget. And also, I forgot to mention that uh, along with Calpurnia, Little Juniors is going to perform too. They're also part of the same record label, Royal Mountain Records, as Calpurnia. And I think they're going to be like the opening act and then Calpurnia is going to perform. So uh, I, I have never heard of Little Junior. So uh, I guess I'm going to have to see at the show. So hopefully everything will turn out great. And uh, I just can't wait for this freaking concert. <laughs> and of course, I've told you guys in my previous blog that uh, I was going to go on Instagram Live that when uh, Calpurnia is going to do the show, right? So I'm definitely going to be on Instagram Live. So if you guys want to tune in to my Instagram Live, you can go ahead and uh, and watch. Because uh, I'll be capturing some moments and also be taking some pictures too. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy. And uh, I have to get ready. So I'll see you guys at Irving Plaza. <laughs> Hi.
Hi, we're called Little Junior from Toronto. Thanks so much for having us. This is fun? Are you having fun? Yeah, I was too. Uh, thanks to Cal Perigner for having us out tonight. Can't wait to see them shred. It's gonna be great. Go to work.
You guys are so awesome. We can hear you cheering and stuff. I'm going to say, I'm going to say that. I like the circle, I like the circle action, keep it going. Alright, I'm gonna get on the top, so I won't get that in. So, uh, so, uh, a moth, he goes to the podiatrist. This moth is, you know, he's telling the podiatrist. He's so super like, sick. Yeah, so a moth, right, it's a moth, like a moth, like a moth, like a moth girl. So it's a mom, and he's going to the podiatrist. Right, and so he's telling him all his problems, like, you know, I'm really sad. Why are you guys screaming? It's about a moth and a podiatrist. It's sad. Yeah, it's sad. It's so about a moth and a podiatrist. Yeah, so the podiatrist, right? And it's telling him, well, it's telling him his problems. His wife, his wife left him. It's sad. It's a that horrible thing. And so this moth, he keeps on going, and, uh, you know, brings up what he had for breakfast. Uh, the mom's not going to go have for breakfast, right? And so, uh... So you guys are the guy just complains a lot. So when the mom is eating his breakfast, right? He's eating it. He's like, oh, not the mom calls. Um, and so then, the podiatrist is like, you know, that's cool, but, uh... Why didn't you see the psychiatrist? And the mom is like, uh... Cause the light was on.
What, dude? Yeah. Mal he stole Malcolm's drumsticks <laughs> mid song. Um, yeah, thank you guys for coming out. It's a sick turn. <laughs> What's everyone watching right now? What's what's everyone's That was so funny. Um she said stranger things and that's the show I'm in. Was so
chorus to the song. It's just so hard. Yeah, sing, sing the words if you know it's a classic.
everybody. It is Sunday morning, right after the concert, and I'm totally exhausted. Um, my neck hurts. Uh, my arms hurt because I was filming the entire show last night. And uh, my eardrums are completely destroyed from the freaking sound because it was so loud last night. Uh, not that that's a bad thing, but... Uh, <laughs> Let's just say my hearing uh, got a little bit affected by that sound. But Last night was an amazing and unforgettable experience. And uh, it was a really good show that Calpurnia put on. And uh, the fans were screaming, especially the, the girls. And uh, it was a really, really fun night. And uh, not only did Calpurnia put on a show, but... Also, the opening act, uh, Little Junior, they also did a, a really good job. Um, I think these Canadian rock bands are doing really good music, uh, which is weird because I don't hear that kind of, uh, you know, effort in American music because American rock bands should also be like that. But I guess I see more effort coming from Canada than any other place. <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna talk to you guys about my experience yesterday, starting from the very first time that I even uh, got to Irving Plaza. So I went with my sister. Uh, she also accompanied me to the concert because she also wanted to see Finn and the band. And uh, we got, we left home like around five, and then we got uh, an Uber, and we arrived at Irving Plaza at around 6, 6.30ish. And by the time we got there, the freaking line was so freaking huge. Like, to be honest, it was freaking long. It was like the line extended from the, the front of Irving Plaza to all the way to the back <laughs> of the freaking theater which is hilarious and i was like oh my god like is this line really that huge for you know a kid's concert like the line should be really huge for you know for you know if, if people are gonna go see the president or something <laughs> but you know i guess uh people really like this band so <clears throat> we arrived at irving plaza at around 6 30 ish and there were people lined up and luckily we got like we got to line up in the middle of the line like it was like halfway through because there were even more people behind us so i don't even know how long this line was but i think it extended all the way to the back of the theater all the way to the street corner so we waited and we waited because they didn't open the doors until 7 and there were like security guards all around and stuff. And uh, there were also these girls and they were talking about Finn and people were screaming. And there were also parents too, which I found really weird, but <laughs> parents also came uh, with their kids, you know, and uh, teenage girls also went there too with the, you know, the little buddies and whatnot. And yeah, it was all about rock and roll and peace, you know what I mean? <laughs> and the security guards were also uh, telling people, uh, especially the adults, uh, to give their IDs because uh, they were allowed to drink. So during this show, there were alcoholic beverages served. And I was like, well, why are they serving alcoholic beverages in a kid's concert, so I was like, oh, it's probably because of the adults that are accompanying them, right? So I was like, all okay. right. Not that I did want to get drunk, but, uh, you know, alcoholic beverages are really expensive, so I'm obviously not going to buy, <laughs> buy it. I'll just rather drink water, right? So we waited and we waited for a couple of minutes. I, I, I think it was like for 30 or 45 minutes. And then the line started to move, you know, people started to get accommodated and the line was, you know, was moving. And until it was my turn and my sister's turn 
and we got inside Irving Plaza and, uh, you know, they, they, what they usually do, you know, in the front doors is that they check to see what you have in your bag and, uh, you know, they scan your tickets and then we went upstairs, uh, to see the show and, uh, it was like this huge, this little square ballroom, right? It wasn't really that big, to be honest, because I thought, you know, because I actually uh, saw the pictures on the internet of of how the uh, the place was going to be, and uh, I thought it was going to be bigger, because in the pictures it looks big, but when I got there in, in, like, real life, it wasn't even that big. It was like this really small square kind of venue. And also has like a balcony, but the balcony is only for VIP, right? People have to pay more if they want to go on the balcony, but we are only general admissions. But what I really didn't like, guys, is that um, my sister and I, we bought the tickets um, early. Like when they first came out, um, when they first were sold, we bought the first few tickets that were available. Uh, because we knew that if we if we didn't hurry up, they were going to be sold out. So we bought the very first few tickets, and we thought we were going to get front row seats because on our ticket stub, it said that we we were like seat seventy eight or something like that, seventy seven, seventy eight. So it was really annoying that uh, they didn't accommodate people based on the seats, and it was all based on who got there first, right? So if I would have got there. By 3 p.m., I probably would have gotten a much better view of Finn, but unfortunately, that didn't work out like that. So I ended up, like, you know, staying... I ended up getting a place in right in the middle, smack down in the middle, which I didn't like because there were people that were taller than me in front of me, and there were people blocking the way with their smartphones, so it was really hard to film the show. And can I talk about the people that went there, like... There was like tons of screaming teenage girls. There were parents as well. Most of those people weren't even native New Yorkers to begin with. Some of them were from Florida. Others were from Jersey. Like they actually paid a plane ticket to get here. So that was really weird because, you know, I'm a native New Yorker. So I had to take a, a cab to get to the place. But it was really interesting to see that. There weren't any native New Yorkers that were going to go see the show. It was like people from other states, so that was weird. So anyway, we got inside, and it was rowdy as hell because there were tons of people. We were all, like, you know, crowded like sardines, but, you know, what do you expect? I mean, there are no seats, so you have to stand. And then we waited for the opening act, which was Little Junior, which is also a Canadian rock band, and they're also from the same record label, as Calpurnia, Royal Mountain Records. And we waited, and uh, they finally came out, the the little, little juniors, they finally played. And what can I say? I think I was uh, ast astonished, and I was like, I was really surprised because they played really good. Um, I really like their style of music. It's sort of inspired by like 90s music. I know Finn's band's also inspired by bands like Weezer and the Pixies, but uh, but I think this band also did a pretty good job. It sounds very 90s, and it's pretty good. And I they played like five songs, so I'm not particularly like, um, I don't really know that much about this band, but I do know that they have their, they also have an album out, the, their recent album, right? So I think they played songs from their album, and they were they were also very charismatic. Um, I like most of their songs, and uh, they're very relatable. And they played until I think they played from eight o'clock to nine, and then there was an intermission, and people were getting rowdy because they wanted to see Calpurnia. And uh, I think on the projected screen there, uh, every time Calpurnia's picture came out, people screamed because that's what we want to see. We want to see Calpurnia. So uh, they were doing the sound check and everything while we were waiting for in, during the intermission. And then all of a sudden, Calpurnia came out. And it was, you know, oh my god, like, I'm used to seeing Calpurnia, you know, via Instagram because I, I saw their concerts from other people's uh, recordings, 
But then I when when you know the veil finally uplifted, and I saw, you know, these kids for the very first time, this band, I was like, really, really excited. I was like, oh my god! <laughs> and then there was Finn there, and uh, he was wearing a really weird outfit. Um, he was wearing a white T-shirt that said Lunar Vacation, which was the band that opened for Calpurnia during their um, Atlanta concert. So he was wearing the Lunar Vacation a t-shirt and he was also wearing these little, really baggy pants because he's really skinny, right? <laughs> and uh, that was really good. I think they opened with the song Wasting Time and rock and roll and whatever and people started jumping and dancing and then they played Greyhound which is my favorite, favorite song. And they also played a I think uh, Finn did a cover of Weezer and he also did another cover from the Beatles Don't Let Me Down and everybody was excited and then he played and then um, they played Waves with Ayla's voice which is beautiful and amazing and oh there really there are some really funny moments during the concert too because Finn would tell people to put down their smartphones and that's impossible because we all wanted to get, you know, pictures and videos, you know. And also I think um, there's one part where Finn told the audience to make like a little circle. <laughs> and everybody obeyed and everybody was like making a circle. And it was like really fun. And Finn was very cool. Um, <clears throat> he was such a peach. And... Uh, he was like, enjoy, because you guys are at a rock and roll concert, and it was like, ugh, you know, it was a really amazing to see him alive right there. <laughs> I never thought I would actually see him live. And what else? And they also made like a, they also made like a joke during the show, um, which uh, I didn't really get until later on, but uh, they made like a little joke there about a moth or something in the light bulb and uh, it was a really really amazing show and Finn also you know flipped his hair that's what rock and roll stars do they flip their hair and oh let me tell you about um, what I filmed so my arms are tired because I was filming the entire thing because I was smack down right in the middle and there were people taller than me that were blocking away so I had to put my arms way up in the sky, like way up so that I could get a, get a really good glimpse, you know, of everything, get, get really good shots. And it was really difficult, but at least I tried and I kept on bumping this poor girl that was in front of me. I kept on bumping her on the head with my phone. I was like, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get a good, good freaking view, you know? I'm sorry. You know, I kept on bumping my cell phone. And I kept on elbowing people, too. It was just really annoying. But, you know, at least uh, I recorded some really good moments from the concert. And the band finished off with City Boy. And uh, it was a really great, amazing finish. And... There were a lot of screaming fangirls, and that's why my eardrums hurt, because people were screaming and shouting, and, you know, that's what you can expect from a concert, right? And uh, after the concert ended, um, a lot of people were, like, crowded and stuff like that. So it was really hard to get out of Irving Plaza, because there was, like, so many people inside, like... There were, I could estimate that there were probably more than 200 people last night at the concert. So that's the, that's a record. So, so a lot of people came out of Irving Plaza and it was crowded as hell outside in the street corner. And uh, oh my god, I just came back blown away, like completely mind blown. And... What else can I say? Uh, I got home with my sister. We both got home safely. Uh, we got home like at 10.30 because it was a really long ride from Manhattan to Queens. And uh, we got home and uh, we just went to sleep with rock and roll tunes in our, in our brain.
So uh, it was like I said, it was an amazing experience, and I feel really sorry for you guys who were scheduled to see Calpurnia today at 2 p.m. But uh, because of the inconvenience, they had to cancel, and I'm really sorry for. I feel really sorry for you guys, but. Um, you got your money back. They refunded your your money back, but maybe someday Calpurnia will come back to New York City. It probably won't be in Irving Plaza. Maybe it'll be in another venue, another maybe at the Mercury Lounge, like the Vapors. So I don't know. Maybe some other place where uh, you know they're gonna perform. So I feel really sorry for you Sunday people out there because you missed out on a, a really really rocking night and like I said it's something like I said you have to be there to experience everything because it was like amazing and uh, and I'll never forget it it'll always be in my memory so I hope you guys enjoyed my little story time about what happened last night at the concert um, if you're a Calpurnia fan you definitely won't regret it like I said you have to go see them live because, you know, they're amazing. So, in my previous vlog, I said that I was going to be really busy these upcoming weeks. And that I was going to make a video probably um, at the end of the month. That's when I'm going to go back to my regular schedule of making videos. So, um, that's what's going to happen. So, I'm not going to, you're not going to see any activity on my channel for now. Because I'm going to be very busy these two weeks. So probably at the end of the month you'll see a new video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Also please comment down below and tell me if you also went to the concert. Also please let me know what were your favorite parts of the concert if you went last night. And also please hit that subscribe button if you want to see more interesting videos on my channel. Also hit that notification bell so you know when I post a new video. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I hope you have a rocking day. Bye!